Isaiah in chapter 18 speaks of an unfamiliar land. He does not mention its name unlike Babylon in chapter 13, Moab in 15, Damascus in 17 and Egypt in 19, and Egypt and Cush in 20. Since he does not know the name of this land, he describes it by way of geography in verses 1 to 2 and 7. Verse 1, Woe to the land shadowing with wings, which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, that sendeth ambassadors by the sea. Woe, from the Hebrew, howie, means ah, alas, ha, ho, o, woe. This word is not meant to be a condemnation. The word Ethiopia from the Hebrew, kush, or, kushan means black. This land of Cush is viewed as the land occupied by the descendants of Cush around the southern part of the Nile River in Africa. Isaiah is not talking about the land of Cush but a land beyond Cush associating it with wings. Verse 2 and 7 says, Whose land the rivers have spoiled. Wings and rivers is a description of this land beyond Cush. In the New American Standard Bible, the passage is rendered this way. The key areas say alas, O land of wearing wings which lies beyond the rivers of Cush, which sends envoys by the sea, and, whose land the rivers divide, in verses 2 and 7. The New Jerusalem Bible renders these parts as Disaster Land of the wearing locusts beyond the rivers of Cush, who send ambassadors by sea, and, a mighty and masterful nation whose country is crisscrossed with rivers. From these versions there is a clear picture that Isaiah looking to the west sees a land beyond the rivers of Cush that sends ambassadors or messengers not by land but by sea. Perhaps there is a body of water that requires them to come by sea and not land. This land is described having wings and rivers crisscrossing it. What could have this land been? Looking at a globe of the earth, the best candidate is North and South America. The two continents look like a bird wings with Central America being the body of the bird. Both North and South America have important rivers crisscrossing them. Isaiah looking towards the west sees a land with wings beyond Cush. This could be a description of the Americas. If the land beyond the rivers of Cush is the Americas, then another passage also appears to be relevant in Zephaniah 3.10. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, Cush, my suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersed shall bring me mine offerings. Perhaps some of the house of Israel did go to the Americas. Thank you for your time.